Samantha Burns' body continued today. This is the third effort for the national crew led by a North Carolina missing persons expert, and the hope remains as strong as ever. News Channel 3's Randy Oe was at the Wayne County search site today with the largest volunteer crew that we've seen so far. That's right, Tim, about 40 strong, including heavy machine operators and highly trained cadaver dogs and their handlers. Now, Marshall student Samantha Burns went missing in 2002. Chad Fulks and Brandon Basham were convicted of killing Burns and a South Carolina woman named Alice Donovan, all after a multi-state crime spree. On this search, Chad Fulks has offered an updated map and new information. For Samantha's family, the hope never fades. For this national group of searchers, science and excavation is combined with a deep and compassionate calling to help. Well, the hope is always there, you know, and we appreciate Monica and all her volunteers for coming back. Tammy Atkins, Samantha Burns' aunt, is one of the many family members who stand vigil, waiting and hoping, as excavators remove some 20 feet of fill dirt dumped here long after the murder. These searchers came in from more than seven states to work with the North Carolina-based missing persons team. Missouri's Marion Stricker is an eight-year team veteran who says he helps not because of a personal loved one lost, but because he was called to do so. I guess the good Lord, uh, he gave me the, the means to uh, do what I do. I know that if I had uh, a child lost, I would want somebody that would come out and do that for me. The search team leader says her dedicated crew members have a heartfelt passion for one of the toughest jobs anywhere, period. I think the resolution part, being there and being and sharing such a private time with these families, knowing that you actually brought their loved one home, I, I don't think there's uh, any feeling better in the world. Among the many canine crews, this is Dawn Teague's first time with Monica's team, but the veteran missing person searcher says the reward is in meeting families who need real friends. Every time they get a call, you're going to try to check an area out and you want to be there. Samantha Burns Ann says after seven years, searching for closure means much more than an often used phrase. It never goes away. You never stop thinking, what if, maybe the here, maybe there. You know, it's just something that you always think about. The Burns family just wants somewhere to pay their respects. Now, these searchers are resolute and determined. This site is their best hope so far, they say, and there's nothing to lose. So we asked, how long will you be here? The search leader says, we were set to finish and succeed on Sunday. Many team members have to go back to their real jobs. But, Tim, some are staying. New volunteers are coming in. It's day by day, and the hope is hour by hour. And uh, Monica Kaysen says they will stay and they will work until they can exclude this particular site, but there are no plans to end this search.